innermost part here where I can see the fabric. That lines up nice. And then I can see here, I've got to trim that. I'm gonna do that all the way up. And I, I don't mind using this 20 inch ruler all the way across. Sometimes I'll take the other ruler and I'll put it up and butt it this way. But for video purposes, I think I'm gonna to stick to the 20 inch because um, I just don't have a lot of space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep lining this up, making sure this is all nice and straight and laying loosely, not having any drag. I don't want it to have any drag because it will continue to do this all the way around the quilt. This, all this is doing right now is just getting me ready. So when I put it on the long arm, it's pretty straight. I'll do this again after I'm done because I'll have to get the batten taken off the quilt as well. So. For now, I just I just have to have something to go with. Okay, so back to a corner. I'm just gonna line that up and I'm gonna take it right off. All right, it's lined up here. Push down on the ruler and just give it a nice slice. Okay, now we're gonna turn this. Right there. So we're going to turn the quilt to the corner that I just left off. So now that's going to be a nice match. I'll be able to have that corner be complete. You want your quilt nice and flat and laid out uh, with not a lot of uh, uh, heaviness towards you. Because what happens is it's just going to make that drag. Okay, so this is where we just left off. This was the piece that just got... Uh, uh, cut. So I'm going to line this up. That looks good. Now we're going to come to this edge. I'm also looking up my quilt to make sure um, I'm looking where the fabric is in the most. So what I can see here, I look, I can see this and then I can see right in here, this is starting to get pretty uh, even with my ruler. I'm going to go ahead and cut that right there. Okay. I'm going to keep pulling it towards me. What used to happen is I, I wasn't very good at squaring up and I was trying to do it with too many rulers and I was always getting frustrated. I used to do it on my dining room table. I kind of liked it better because it was uh, longer, so I could walk along the side of it, but I'm, I've got this down pretty good now. So you put your hand down firmly and you go up. And you just continue to do that. So with this quilt, there's really not a lot of matching up to do, a lot of seams. This was a very wonky quilt to begin with. I'm not really matching any of the seams. I'm just looking for the uh, edges all to be nice and straight in the so when I fold this in half it's gonna fold in half and be nice and neat okay I don't have any borders or anything on here that I need to go with there's no perfection to this quilt okay I can see right here I'm just gonna take this right up and I'm coming back to another corner here so when I get here I'm just gonna come line this up and I'm just going to line this side up and I'm going all the way straight up and off. Okay. Now, I'm going to give it another turn. That corner right here has already been, it's already straight on one side. So it's going to be pretty easy to straighten out on the other side now. Okay. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit want it all bunched up anywhere. That's the worst thing to do is to cut somewhere where it might have been tucked in if you didn't have it all pulled apart. I've done that. Okay, so I'm lining this edge up that we just did. I know that one was nice and straight. The other thing to do to remember too is I have a top on my ruler. I always go with that same top dimension. I always keep that in front of me. I put a piece of tape you see that I've just put a piece of tape that says top 
I just keep it right at that angle at all times. Okay. Go to my innermost part here where the fabric's coming in. And I'm going to give that a nice cut right there. Pull it down. When I do this on the dining room table, I can use both rulers. Um, it's quite easy. I can actually do it on this too. I can put both rulers if I stand at the other angle. I just can't get it and, and tape at the same time. So I'm just going to do it with this ruler. Okay, I'm all lined up here and there, and I'm going to cut. All right, so I'm getting to another corner here, but I think I can, I feel good that I'm gonna just take it right up. I'm gonna line this up and bring it up there and I can fix anything when I get there that if I, if I have to straighten anything out. So I'm taking it all the way on this side up, okay? Right off the edge. My top line looks pretty good too, so that side might be not, not too bad off. All right. Woo. Okay, I'm at this I'm on, on this side now. And I'm going to line that up. I know that bottom one is already straight because we just did that. All right, we're going to line the bottom and go to the most inner side that I can see here. And that side did not need very much. All right, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm almost done here. So what I'm gonna do is Bring this down to, to me. Now here it looks like we're going to need quite, I need to flatten this out because it's getting a little bit, it's a little bit bumpy. Okay. And it looks like I need to take a pretty big chunk off here. So I am going to bring the ruler up as far as I can. And I don't know if you can see that big chunk. Let's see. It's pretty big. But I'm pretty. If you can see, this is what I've got. This is my, this is the stuff I had to cut off. So it's a pretty good, quite a lot of fabric here. So what I'll do is I'll just put this into a, I have a bag of a pillowcase that I keep and I'll cut this down with my rotary cutter before I put it away. And I will put it in a bag of crumbs that I have. They're just, they're too small to do anything with. And those will go to um, making dog beds or cat beds or somewhere where they can use them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my quilt top and I'll fold it in half either way, the long way or the short way and I'll connect my corners. And this is just telling me that I am straight. So there we go. And then I'll get this all folded up and ready to go down to the long arm. Here's my quilt top that I'm gonna put on the long arm. That's all ready to go. I've picked out some white for the back end. It's like an off white. I've picked out this color for the bind in. And I'm also gonna incorporate some of this extra fabric that I had uh, when I made these blocks. This was just excess that I had cut off for the size um, I'm going to incorporate that into the back as well. I always like to have a little something something on the back of the quilt if I can, if there's extra. I think it's just fun and makes the quilt uh, have a lot of personality. Okay, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep it simple and I will see you next time. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.